What is ICT? Information, Communications, Technology. Information and communication technologies in education deal with the use of information and communication technologies within educational technology. What? Okay, let's try this again. ICT is a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate and to create, disseminate, store, and manage information. Much better. These technologies include computers, the internet, broadcasting technologies, radio and television, and telephony. Radio, telephony? Information and communication technologies, which include radio, television, and the telephone, as well as newer digital technologies, such as computers and the internet, have been touted as potentially powerful enabling tools for educational change and reform. When used appropriately, different ICTs are said to help expand access to education, strengthen the relevance of education to the increasingly digital workplace, and raise educational quality by, among others, helping make teaching and learning into an engaging, active process connected to real life. However, the experience of introducing different ICTs in the classroom and other educational settings all over the world over the past several decades suggests that the full realization of the potential educational benefits of ICTs is not automatic. The effective integration of ICTs into the educational system is a complex, multifaceted process that involves not just technology, indeed, given enough initial capital, Getting the technology is the easiest part, but also curriculum and pedagogy, institutional readiness, teacher competencies, and long-term financing, among others. Globalization and technological change, processes that have accelerated in tandem over the past 15 years, have created a new global economy powered by technology, fueled by information, and driven by knowledge. The emergence of this new global economy has serious implications for the nature and purpose of educational institutions. As the half-life of information continues to shrink and access to information continues to grow exponentially, schools cannot remain mere venues for the transmission of a prescribed set of information from teacher to student over a fixed period of time. Rather, schools must promote learning to learn, i.e., the acquisition of knowledge and skills that make possible the continuous learning over the lifetime.